hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i will show you how to fix black screen in your citra emulator on your pc or android so let's get started guys this is my new video and do not skip any part of this video i will show you complete setting for citra emulator to fix black screen for any game so let's start as you can see i have a different version Citra emulator. I have Citra Nightly version and I have Citra Canary version. To fix black screen issue on your Citra emulator, you'll need different settings for your Citra emulator. If you are using AMD GPU on your PC or you have Intel HD graphics, then you'll need Citra Canary version because Citra Nightly version does not support Vulkan. As you can see, this is Citra Canary. I can use Vulkan in this version, Citra Canary. But in this version, Citra Nightly has two options only, Software or OpenGL. So, you cannot use Vulkan in your Citra emulator. Vulkan is better than OpenGL to fix black screen or any other graphics glitches in your Citra emulator. So, do not use Citra Nightly, use Citra Canary version instead of Citra Nightly. I close it and for more settings to fix black screen in your Citra emulator, canary version, go to emulation and configuration and go to graphics tab and go to advanced option and select from here Vulkan because Vulkan is better than OpenGL for AMD GPU or Intel HD graphics. After selecting Vulkan from here select your powerful GPU if you are using multiple GPU devices then please choose powerful GPU from here if you want to see your GPU device already installed in your PC then go to search bar on your Windows and type here device manager go to device manager control panel and go to display adapter you can see this is my GPU device and one more important thing I want to tell you over here. If you want to use Vulkan with your GPU device, then please update drivers for your GPU device. If you are using older version drivers, then you cannot fix black screen for your Citra emulator. Right click and properties. Now go to drivers. Now you can see driver date and driver version already installed in your PC for your GPU device. If you have older version drivers, then please update it first and right click again and update drivers and go to browse my computer for drivers and let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and you can see over here all version drivers for my GPU available over here if you have already latest version drivers for your GPU on your PC then please choose latest version drivers over here and click on next you can see this is my latest version drivers but I cancel it because I have already installed latest version drivers for my GPU device. I cancel it and for more settings if you want to use Vulkan with your GPU device then check these all options from here. So already checked all options from here and OK. Now go to emulation again and configuration and go to emulation option region. Select auto from here and go to system option and go to graphics and over here internal resolution scale you can change resolution from here native 2x or 3x so you can try these options one by one if 3x native is workable with your Citra emulator then you can select 3x otherwise you can select 4x but I recommend this one and ok after these settings if you still facing black screen for your Citra emulator then go to file and open Citra folder and delete your shadows folder from here. Delete it and click on yes and close it and restart your Citra emulator. After deleting shadows folder, if you are still facing black screen issue for your Citra emulator, then go to file and open Citra folder and delete all files and folders from here. And if you want to use your old data for your games, then create a new folder over here and cut these all files and folder from here. 
but close your Citra emulator first and paste here and close it and close it and restart your Citra emulator now click on yes and make sure your all settings are same emulation and configuration and go to graphics tab and advanced and check this option and Vulkan and general tab and ok and for more settings right click and go to your control panel for your NVIDIA or AMD or Intel HD graphics now go to configure surround and you can select your GPU device from here. If you have internal GPU, then select your CPU. And if you have external GPU, then select your GPU device and click on apply. Now go to image settings and check this option, select performance from here and check this option and apply. Now go to manage 3D settings and go to restore default. Click here and yes and scroll down and select OpenGL running GPU select your GPU device and scroll down and power management mode select maximum performance scroll down and texture filtering quality select high performance and click on apply and go to program settings Go to add options and browse and go to your Citra emulator you want to use. So my Citra is here. Right click and open file location. Select Citra QT file. Open and apply. Now NVIDIA settings are completed now. Now close it and for more settings right click and go to the switch settings if you have windows 10 or 11 scroll down and go to graphic settings remove your old application file from here and browse go to your citra emulator application file and add options options and high performance and save after these settings, you can fix black screen for your Citra emulator for any game. So I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys. If you like it, then please subscribe my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you in the next video.